And if a child is diagnosed with asthma, what are some of the common treatments that they might be prescribed? Well, in a not traditional pediatric office, the normal treatments that we usually do is the first line treatment would be a bronchodilator. That would be something like albuterol or sopanex. So these medications are used to um, increase the size of the airways and remove the phlegm so that uh, kids can cough up the phlegm. The second line treatment would be like a preventive thing, like a steroid. We do steroids even in conditions when it's really bad, like a flare-up. And uh, steroids, what they do, they decrease the inflammation and decrease the mucus production. So these are the two main treatments for asthma. We could also treat their allergies, so put them on an allergy medicine, or if they have a secondary infection, like maybe pneumonia or ear infections, we need to treat them with antibiotics. Now, I know one of your interests is in natural and alternative treatments. Are there ways to treat asthma naturally and either without pharmaceuticals or with reduced pharmaceuticals? Yes, um, you're right. With reduced pharmaceuticals, because with asthma, you have to make sure that you have the rescue medicine all the time with you because natural therapies are wonderful, and I don't like to um, use a lot of medications all the time. And um, natural therapies are a very slow but a sure process And so it's more like a maintenance therapy. If there's an acute attack or something's happening right away, we do still need real medications for that. 